Have you ever wondered how websites are created? First, a domain name is registered. Along with it, you buy web space from a hosting company. Then you prepare web pages and stack them together to make a website. So, how do you prepare web pages? Let's learn about it today. Introduction to HTML5 HTML is a markup language for creating web pages. A web page contains information in the form of text, graphics, and animation, arranged in an attractive manner. Web browsers like Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox use HTML text to interpret and compose text, images, and other content into visual or audible web pages. These web pages are joined together to form a website. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It was invented by Tim Berners Lee, who is known as the father of the World Wide Web. Hypertext is a piece of text on a web page, which opens a new web page when it is clicked. Like the login button on Facebook.com, which logs a user into his or her Facebook account after the user has input the email address and password. Markup language is a language that used markup which are instructions given to the browser on how to display the hypertext or graphics or video etc. In HTML, markups are special symbols called tags, which are formatting specifications used in this language. Did you know? The W3C, or the World Wide Web Consortium, is the organization that develops international standards for the World Wide Web. It was founded by Tim Berners-Lee in 1994, and he remains the organization's chairman this date. Currently, we are using the HTML5 version which was first published in 2014. Let us see some of the features of HTML5. HTML is very easy to understand and can be modified easily. HTML is a platform independence language. To work with HTML, we need two tools. An HTML editor. And a web browser. We write codes in the editor, and publish them on the browser. HTML is not a case-sensitive language. HTML document is always saved with an extension .htm or .html. You should know the basic definition of a web page, website, and web browser, before you proceed into HTML. Web page is an individual page, that displays content in the form of hyperlinks, ordinary text, graphics, video, audio, etc. A website is a collection of web pages about similar topics, linked together with the help of hyperlinks. A web browser is a software program that is designed to open web pages and websites with the help of their domain name. HTML code that defines the structure of HTML documents is known as tags. These are like keywords that tell a browser how to publish a particular content. Each tag is enclosed within the angle brackets. There are two types of tags. Container and empty tags. Container tags. Most of the tags in HTML are container tags. These tags have both starting as well as ending tags. Both the tags are enclosed in angle brackets. Additionally, the ending tag also uses the forward slash. Between the opening tag and ending tag lies content. Example Empty tags. The tags with no content are called empty tags. They only have a start tag and don't have an end tag. Example Elements. The complete format of a tag is called an element. This includes the opening tag, content, and closing tag. Attributes These are special commands 
that influence the layout of an element in HTML. They are placed inside the element's opening tag and provide additional information to the tag. For example, Structure of HTML documents Every program is written in HTML, starts with HTML, and ends with slash HTML. Next is the head tag. It contains the description of the document and is placed between the HTML tag on the body tag. Inside the head section, we have title tag. It starts with title and ends with slash title. The title is displayed on the title bar of browser. After that comes the body of the website. Here all the codes for inserting the content of the web page will be written. It starts with body and ends with slash body. It contains all the contents of a document. The entire program ends with slash HTML. Other tags used in HTML. B tag is used to bold the text. I tag is used for making the text italic. U tag is used to underline the text. BR tag is used to insert a line break. Open the notepad program. And write an HTML code. Click on the file menu. And choose save option. Type the file name with the .htm or .html extension and save the file. Now go to the browser. Browsers like Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer have a menu bar from where you can select open. However, Google Chrome does not have a menu bar. Use keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus O. Select your file from the open dialog box. The output will appear on the screen like this.